When you see this type of fraction, what do you call it? If you called it an improper fraction, you're right, but you may not be aware there's a recent push in mathematical education to call it something a little bit different. Instead of calling it an improper fraction, many teachers are leaning into calling it a fraction greater than one. I know, I know, this may seem a little bit unnecessary, seem like a mouthful, but there's a very specific reason teachers are finding success with this. Simply by using this name improper fraction, students may think that it's an incorrect way to make a fraction. And in fact, that's not always correct. Sometimes it does make sense to write a fraction this way. By instead calling this fraction a fraction greater than one, we're building students' conceptual understanding of what that actually means, what that actually represents. This can help students visualize and conceptualize what the fraction actually means. It's not a whole number, but it's also more than one. Not all fractions are less than one. This can help build a stronger conceptual understanding of what fractions mean altogether and will help in the long run.